This video would not be possible without the help of American Aquarium Products. Dot com. Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Uh, today I've got another lighting unboxing. So, although we're just kind of doing the tame unboxings for right now at the moment, the cool thing is the reviews are going to be coming and we are going to see some really cool stuff. So, Anyways, what we have here is the Aqua Bar from TMC, and I'll give you a little background on this on, on that in a second. But don't forget to check out my stream. I'm trying to work on building that, maybe even a show. Um, you know, suggest some hours for me of when that would be good for you guys to actually watch. Um, just right now, I'm just whenever I'm on at twitch.tv slash CFL underscore Mike. And you can check that out, or you can even game with me at uh, PSN CFL underscore Mike. You know. Anyways, the question of the day is, what do you guys think about TMC lighting? Uh, I would like you. I mean, I know a lot of you probably don't know anything about TMC. Maybe even never heard of them. But you should go check them out at AmericanAquariumProducts.com. That, that's that's a good place to start because American Aquarium Products doesn't just sell them. They actually write pages and stuff on it, which I really, really like. So um, you can find out a lot of information on why they like what they like and, and, and whatnot. So get a little information. Anyways, this is released from TMC, Tropical Marine Center. And I guess it's the Aqua Ray, uh, or I guess it's not really an Aqua Ray, but it's the Aqua Bar. And basically what this is, is because if any of you checked out the Aqua Rays after I did the little mini unboxing, um, they're a little expensive. Of course, so far from what I've seen, I'm very impressed to say the least. I'm not going to do a review on them just yet. I'm not ready to. But I am very impressed with what I see from them. Um, and the Aqua Bar is basically supposed to be a response to the cheap lighting that has come out on the market. So uh, it's a debatable you know, tactic from TMC. Um, maybe they shouldn't have done it, but they did it, and uh, it's to try to compete with a lot of the cheaper LEDs out there. So I'm I'm a little excited to test it because we could get some people into uh, the TMC market, which is you you'll find you will be very surprised with what you find. So, anyways, basically some of the differences are is I don't believe this actually uses Samsung LEDs. I believe rather than Cree's. And Samsung, I have to say, they are, from what I've seen and from what I hear, they're not Cree quality, but they are very up and coming. Like, they are really taking big strides to compete with Cree on the market for LEDs. Cree, Cree's the big boy out there. Cree's pretty much what owns the market on high quality LEDs. So, from what I hear, Samsung has really done some steps to that. And then the other thing is because this doesn't really work with, uh, or at least with the Aqua Ray uh, modules for control, it's technically not a P, uh, a pulse width modulation system. So it's not as efficient, and then and it's not quite as good as the uh, regular Aqua Rays. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what we get. But the from, I don't remember the retail price offhand. I might put it down somewhere at some point in this video, but. Uh, it's, you know, it, it, the retail price is significantly different. So, anyways, you got your power cord. What's cool here is it kind of has different heads that switch on. Obviously, I have the, uh, American head, uh, what is it, the 120 volts, 100 volts, 120 volts. And, uh, it just kind of clicks in there. And then the next thing we have is, um... Mounting hardware, not very much. It just looks like a little stand that goes on both sides with some Next sleeve. It looks like we've got the actual LED fixture itself. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And that's it for the box. And this thing, first impressions here, it is very sleek looking. I definitely like it. It is constructed from some high quality aluminum. I believe this is aluminum. Uh, and it's designed like a heat sink, which is good, which is what all LEDs should be designed like to dissipate heat. And I've said this before in my lighting videos, heat is the enemy of all lights, really all equipment. Uh, other than just heat being inefficiency and incarnate, 
um, it destroys the lights themselves, destroys the equipment itself. So, but yeah, I, I have to say it's still designed very well. Um, I definitely like the sleek design of it. The only thing I'm concerned with is I don't really see any good ways to mount it just yet. Uh, but maybe, maybe we'll take a look at that before I end this video. And uh, actually get a look at the LEDs. Now, it's probably going to look super bright here on camera. So it's going to really be up to me just to test it and see how it does with plants and how it does with algae and fish and whatnot. So I'll go ahead and put this together and we'll right, take a so look. you guys ready to see this? Wow. This is very bright, a lot brighter than I expected. Something that's cool too is the LEDs aren't actually, don't, don't just have a piece of acrylic over it. They're actually sealed in with some sort of special uh, plastic here. So I think it's, I would be, I think it's safe to say that they're waterproof. I might be wrong. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong or I'll correct myself. But uh, wow, they're extremely bright, much brighter than I thought they were going to be. Um, of course, like I said on the camera, it's hard to tell, and even with me, it's hard to tell. The only thing I'm worried about looking at them now is they have a lot of blue light in them, and for fresh water, that's not really going to be good. So, um, I, I'm going to hold out judgment on the actual capability of the lights, but I have to say it's a very good design so far. So, um, let's take a look at the little mounting things that it came with. Alright, so before I let you guys go today, I didn't actually show you the uh, little mounting thing that it came with here. I forgot to do that. So, real quick, let me uh, show you what the deal is here. I mean, as you can see, it doesn't come with a lot. Like, uh, if you saw the one on even just the mini grow beam that, that I've uh, unboxed so far, it came with more than this. But these are pretty versatile. Like, it, again, it goes with, uh, you know, the well-designed. Uh, nature of it so basically this is what it comes with for your mounting and it's not much but you can actually do a lot with it um, I've been toying around with it and one thing you can do so if you have a canopy you still have the canopy mounting option see that slot there it actually has a slot right here and bam and obviously what you would do is you would just take use the holes on this and screw it into a canopy and obviously since it only comes with two you would just put it on the opposite bar here because see there's two bars and you got yourself a little canopy mount there or really any mount that comes from the top the other thing that I've noticed you can do uh, I, I'm not sure if there's an official way to do it, that, that's something I have to say about this unboxing. I don't even think it came with directions or anything, yeah, so. Um, I'm not sure if they usually do or if that's just the way mine came, but. Uh, so anyways here, you can screw this screw right here into this hole. And obviously it'll just hold the fixture up just slightly above wherever you uh, have it. I'm only going to screw it in like that. And it'll just kind of balance it above wherever you had it. So, you know, you could use that as a general mounting option. Plus, if you're going to mount in a canopy, you could still do it this way too. I guess you would just turn this oops, upside down and screw it into that hole. And then you could still use it as a mounting canopy. So, even though it doesn't come with much, and I'm not sure what are available as far as mounting kits for this particular, for the uh, aqua bar here. But uh, I have to say, just the little bit that they gave you um, was very well designed. Just these little pieces are so well designed, and uh, it, it really gives you actually quite a few options for, uh, you know, not having a whole lot that it comes with. So um, I have to say, even though it doesn't come with a lot, the price is also incredibly cheap. I can't complain that much. So, and see, you can't see it, but there's like a what I was talking about earlier is there's this rubbery film over the lights in that way so I believe this is waterproof so anyways guys if you have any questions feel free to let me know thanks for tuning in